sick, dude. Alright, let me get this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. These are P-Vital bones. Yeah, dude. The, the erasure, as one would say. <laughs> Finesse. So that's why I get, Tom gets paid the big bucks, people. Oh. oh. You don't want to show him? Okay. I don't want to show him. All right, we're here. This is day two, chapter two. The color is red. That's why I'm wearing the red hat. Play the part, look the part. But I'm just, before I even do the outline, I'm just doing a little gradient, the background to kind of like vignette the subject, which will be kind of diagonally this way so that's what i'm doing now it's super hot uh i need some water tom is slowly melting but we're gonna get to it it's early in the day so we're getting crazy you what was it again it's three three and a half three inches no it's three feet oh i thought that was a pain for a second Okay. Three feet and five and a half inches. Oh, because sorry. it's six and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's uh, one foot. Seven. It's one seven seven five. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. No, one seven and a quarter. So I did the outline, it's super hot, but I, I, I took my time because it's really the, the basis of everything and if the, the shapes and you know composition and ratio of things aren't right, it's not gonna be as awesome. So it took a bunch of time to grid it out and do everything properly. I got the blueprint now to just fill in and get crazy and weird. I've already done mock colors and everything, but uh, it's just ready to go and that's it. It's awesome.
drinking beers. What do you think so far? This sucks. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm pulling out the inside, the filled in part. Mm -hmm. So that was wrong. This is fine. Why'd you decide to paint it red? Well, she's in red. Huh? Why'd you decide to paint it red? Well, she's in red. All right, so we're doing pretty well. I'm just doing the flower now. I'm gonna just cover it all in this more lighter saturated pink than the hand to bring it forward kind of so that the flower really pops. And then Tom's just getting his drone to a couple more shots and we're, we're almost finished. <laughs> All right, so now we do the outline of everything. We do the transparent black, transparent white. We hit it with the reflector, and then we do the black, and we're done. So just crank through this, and then we're cranking. This is all we got done today. Uh, it's most of it. I have more shading to do tomorrow and obviously just general cleanliness and making it look pretty but we're coming back tomorrow finish that up do the other side we're running out of light there's bugs up the wazoo you want to see some tan lines <laughs> look at that that's called hard work right there <laughs> vitamin D language all right <laughs> Work, baby, work. Hold on. Oh, ah. God, bro. Ah. There goes about $3 worth of tape. Work faster. So we finished, it's so hot, but it's, it's looking great. We just did the final touches, took the final pictures. I want to explain real quick, like kind of the imagery behind it. This chapter is when the young girl kind of like starts a relationship. She goes to visit it every day. She is allured by it. You know, it, it thrills her to be around it. So I wanted like an intense, dramatic, kind of close shot of the girl and the flower, hence her hand, sort of like the physical connection. Um, and just, you know, of the three chapters, have one of the chapters be a really zoomed in kind of detail shot of the flower. So that's what I was kind of thinking. And it is dramatic, it's kind of highly contrasted. The flower is a little brighter and saturated, coming to the front a little more. Hand, you know, looking good. Background, just a kind of drippy, jungled gradient, but it's really just the physical connection that is a metaphor you know for their relationship and the love that 
and almost like obsession that the young girl has for the flower. So that's kind of the mentality. If you haven't read the, the chapter, read it because it will make more sense. And also obviously the first chapter of how she's shocked and intrigued and sees this, you know, uh, ethereal flower that she's never seen before, but also that it's so typical, but she's confused why she's so in love and, you know, enamored by it. So that's my brain. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, Shout out to Tom for being the worst, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>